All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Huge thank you to Infinite Disc for providing me these MVP discs once again to do another video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be trying my best to demonstrate and answer the question, does speed matter? So, these are some of these are 14 and a half speed drivers. As far as I know from PDJ regulations and rules, it can only be so wide and so sharp. So if they're claiming it's 14 and a half, they're claiming it's because of its technology, not because it's any sharper or any wider than a typical driver. So today I have to compare it to a Halo Boss. I have the Tantrum, I have the Excite, I have Octane and Fission, Octane and Fission, and then the Teleport. Three of these are the 14 and a half speed and then just two Octane. So I'm gonna try to rip a good one with my boss, rip a good rip good ones with these, and then go down there and range find it back and tell you guys what I think and my final thoughts. So let's check it out. All right, you guys, I just want to make it very clear before we start this video. I'm editing the video now, and I'm doing this as unbiased as possible. All I want from this video and all I'm trying to prove is that a 13-speed disc is a 13-speed disc, and that the flight numbers to a lot of amateurs and people just starting do matter. So my only point in doing this is just to show that if the technology does make it go further, this video is going to show it. I have no skin in the game. I'm not sponsored by Innova. I'm not sponsored by MVP. So what I'm showing you guys today is solely for the purposes of educating the community. I have no no biasness. I have no anything in this. Uh, my personal company, we do not even make a distance driver. So I'm being as unbiased as possible. I'm expecting the gyro 13 speed disc to go further than the halo boss that's a 13 speed disc due to the technology and i'm expecting the 14 and a half speed disc to go further than the 13 speed disc due to they're calling it a 14 and a half speed and the fact that it's the same technology used in the 13 speed disc so let's dive into it but we're going to see what happens The boss got up there pretty good. Um, nothing spectacular, but a fair opportunity for this challenge. So now we have a 163 octane. Little dumbier than the ones I was throwing in the last video. One seventy four octane. So now to the 14 and a half speeds, here's the teleport. Teleport flew pretty good. Here's the tantrum. I'm literally throwing a tantrum. Then the Excite, again, another 14 and a half speed driver. Yeah. 
right, so here we have the Excite. Again, I didn't turn it over the greatest. Didn't fill it all that great. Um, it still went 5.05. Um, so nothing impressive at all, but it kind of just did hazard out the whole way. So um, let's go over. These other ones are grouped pretty dang close, so. So all of these, all of these here literally landed within 30 feet of each other. Um, Octane over there is 13 speed, same as the Halo Boss. And you can literally see they went the exact same distance. Um, you know, one's just 15 feet left of the other. But then here's a 14 and a half speed and a 14 and a half speed. Literally, I mean, we can do one, two, three, four paces further. So in my opinion, um, and I feel like I threw the MVP disc better than I threw the Halo Boss. Um, the fact that it's only three or four paces past it, to me, doesn't say a speed and a half. Um, especially the way I feel like I threw them. And again, like I said, you can only make it so sharp and so wide. So really, claiming, even if it's just .5, uh, you know, speed 14 and then adding 5, it's still, in my opinion, um, a little bit of uh, trickery. Um, I think the discs are good. I mean, they flew great. They flew far. I'll give you guys distances in a second. But overall, I do not think it's a speed and a half faster than a boss or something like that. Um, and this is a Halo boss that's in my bag to be overstable. I'm sure if I came out here with some flippier 14 and a half speeds and then some flippier destroyers or bosses, we might see a little more of a spread um, either way. But I definitely don't think that uh, it's a speed and a half faster. But let's give you guys some distances here. So here we have Halo Boss at 550. The Excite at 563. And then again, Teleport at 570. So again, all pretty good shots. I mean, I would take 550 plus every single time. Um, but again, I'm just not convinced that the actual speed is correct. And I think it might be the same kind of thing as the Tesla to where it's maybe faster than it is. Um, I think that on those lower speed discs, especially like the glitch, I think that the technology definitely does make sense because I think the glitch probably goes as far as maybe a PA3 or something like that. But I definitely do not think that when it comes to the drivers, that you're gonna notice the difference in the speed and a half. Just my opinion, again, thank you to Finish Line Discs for sponsoring me, sponsoring these videos. I wanna give a big thank you to everybody that supports and watches these. We'll see you in the next one.